What's your ASL? What, what translation? Because struggle love is not what's you know, up. I'm Jamaican and Caribbean girls run it. Ask Riri. Hi, my friendies. Welcome back to Moni Franny TV. If you're new to this channel, you can check out my last couple videos. By the way, I need you to like, comment, and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, if you're looking for um, fashion, travel, lifestyle videos, you're in the right place. So hit that subscribe button. So for today's video, um, I decided to do the new YouTuber tag just for you, my friendies, to get to know me a little bit more so that we could connect and vibe a little bit. So. I asked um, my social media audience to shoot me some questions that they would like to know about me. So I will be answering those questions today. And also, um, just random questions from the new YouTuber tag. For the social media questions, I, I saw those questions so I have an idea of what they are. But for the rest of them, I'm not too sure what the questions will be. And I have my lovely fiance. You're gonna be hearing his voice. He'll be the one asking me the questions. Now let's get into this video. All right, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Should I be scared? I don't know, <laughs> man. Um, let's start. So, what's your ASL? What, what translation? <laughs> what does oh, that dang, mean? Oh, you, dang, you don't know what ASL means? No. Oh, you wasn't in them old AIM messenger days? Nope. That means age, sex, location. <laughs> I'm kidding. You ain't got to answer that. <laughs> All right. Um, who is Moni Franny? Um, why a question like this? What, like, what do you mean? Who is Moni Franny? Talk to the people. Who's Moni Franny? Um, Moni Franny is. I don't know. I don't really know what you mean. She's a mom. A nurse, um, a person trying to inspire other people, and, right, and a fiance. <laughs> Why did you choose the name Moni Franny TV? Okay, I chose the name Moni Franny TV because I've had, um, well, it's a spin off of my real name, it's kind of like a nickname to my real name. I got that in high school, in the seventh grade, actually. Um, so my my normal social media is Moni Franny. By the way, don't look me up, <laughs> or you or you can if you want to. So um, I had a different name before. It was Moni Looks, but I didn't really feel like that quite like represented me. Like Moni Franny just felt like my name because it's me. So I just added the TV to it because. You're watching me. What is your channel about? My channel is about fashion, travel, and lifestyle. Lifestyle for me, uh, I would say you're gonna be getting like nursing videos because nursing related videos because I'm a nurse. Um, an occasional gym video or something because I work out sometimes <laughs> when I feel like it. And, um, Maybe like vlogs here and there. It all depends on what I'm doing. Who or what inspired you to start a YouTube channel? Okay, so I feel like I've always wanted to to start a YouTube channel because there is a lot of inspiration on YouTube to even begin with. Like my fiance is behind the camera, he could confirm. I I'm always on YouTube. I have YouTube friends in my head. Like he's I don't know what she's talking about. He's always like, oh, you watching one of your friends again? Like I'm always on here. So and I've like like I like before I've said I've I've said, you know, like I feel like that's something that I could do. But then this whole quarantine happened and my fiance and his friends, they were doing their pod. My two little sisters, shout out to y'all, Tanya's life. I think that's your name on here. And Felicity Bell, 
Yeah, that's her name on here. They were doing their YouTube channel, and that kind of inspired me because I looked around. I'm like, everybody has something. Like everybody's doing something. Like, what's my extracurricular activity during this quarantine time? So, and among some, I like. There's like two other persons, like two other like friends that I saw on there. So I got inspired. I'm like, let me try this thing out and see where it goes. And plus, one more thing, I am always on social media, always oversharing my life anyways. So then I'm like, why not just start a YouTube? I love the camera anyways, so. What are your goals as it pertains to YouTube? My goals as it pertains to YouTube, I... Trying to get rich. Mm, <laughs> I'm trying to grow my followers. I'm trying to inspire people and um, this is just something for me to do that I could look back on and also I just want to share I just want to share I'm an over sharer to begin with so I just want to share more and plus what he said too <laughs> eventually where are you from I was born and raised in Jamaica. <laughs> yes, the Jamaica I come from. By the way, I was going with friend of them. Ba, ba, ba. And now I'm living in New Jersey. What kind of work do you do? I am a nurse. <laughs> that's right. Koja underscore Ru. Koja Ru. I think that's what it says. <laughs> she asked, what made you want to do nursing? Okay, that's my friend from high school. Hey, Anik, shout out to you. Um, that's a really good question. Honestly, um, growing up, I never saw myself being in a nursing field. Matter of fact, I hated science subjects, but some way I, um, some way somehow I got into the field of nursing and I decided that I wanted to grow and excel in this field. Like the feeling of helping someone recover after an illness, or even if someone is about to pass away, the feeling of providing comfort for that person is just something unexplainable. And I don't know, like it's strange. Like growing up, I didn't want to be in the nursing field, but right now I can't see myself doing anything else. Like I feel like this has been my calling to help other people. And I'm very passionate about it, by the way. What are your favorite places to shop? Okay, so if you know me, my all time favorite place to shop, 99.9% .9 of the time, if you ask me what I'm wearing, I'm gonna tell you that it's from ASOS, ASOS, ASOS. That's my ultimate favorite place to shop. Um, Another place, um, Pretty Little Things. I like that store also. Um, if you're looking for like something more on the luxury luxury end, um, I'm gonna have to go with Louis Vuitton. And yeah, uh, there's a couple other places, but I would say that's like my top three. What's your zodiac sign? My zodiac sign, I'm a Cancer. Our season is coming up in a couple of days. Is it true that cancers are sensitive? <laughs> <laughs> um, let's just say this. If sensitive was a person, you're looking at her. So I guess maybe it's true. Do you believe in love at first sight? Hmm, good question. Um, love at first sight is going to be a no for me. I do not believe in love at first sight. Um, my reason is that you cannot base everything off of what you see. You know what I mean? Like, you might see somebody who's aesthetically appeasing or appealing to you and you get to know them you find out they have a dull or boring personality or just that they're a, out like they're a plain outright mean person you know what i mean and then you might meet somebody who might not have been your type 
or might not be that aesthetically appealing to you and then you get to know them and you're like oh my god like i can't control the way i feel like this person is funny this person is caring loving so you never know they say you have to test drive the car before you buy it as it pertains to sex before marriage what are your thoughts <laughs> okay um i'm gonna say that this is a no judgment zone, a no judgment space. Um, in a perfect world, you would buy the car before you test drive it. But I'm just gonna say that I have a four year old and a fiance. So, what do you think? <laughs> so, this section is kind of like a this or that. If you had to give up one, so you're keeping one, throwing the next one away. Which one are you giving up? Love or money? This is a hard question. Um, it's it's kind of like I'm gonna say love. You gonna give up love? No, I'm gonna keep love. Oh, okay. I'm gonna keep love, but at the same time, you need money. You know what I mean? You better give. You better because give up money. because struggle love is not what's up. We or it down together. Or even if or even if you're doing struggle love, like not forever, you know what I mean? Ride or die. What you mean? So I wanna keep both. <laughs> uh would you live without TV or music? Which one are you giving up? TV or music? And TV, I'm bundling media like YouTube videos and everything. You, you know what if it was just TV I would give up TV but I like YouTube you know what I mean like I'm all like I said I have friends in my head like I'm always on here like watching people do stuff learning stuff re relationship advice <laughs> everything so I guess I'm gonna keep keep uh, TV but only for the YouTube dang bye Nicki Minaj she just lost the bar <laughs> I can still watch her on here. Nah. <laughs> Makeup or your hair? You know, like your wigs, sewings, fake hair, or makeup. Which one are you giving up? Oh, you throwing shade? I'm not throwing no shade. Call him out? <laughs> Calling me out? Okay. That's how you come in? That's how you feel? Which one are you giving up? I, I Don't shoot the messenger, man. I'm just asking the questions. Okay. I'm going to have to give up. I would give up. I mean, I really don't need any of them. So I would give up, uh, like, the hair. Hair weaves and stuff. I could wrap my own hair. Matter of fact, I could wrap my own face too. So it don't matter. Either one. What is one of your biggest fears? Mm. One of my biggest fears um, is losing, like, immediate family members. Like, don't cry now. <laughs> like a sibling, or a, a parent, like, a, a, or even a child. God forbid. Like, I don't even know like how I would deal with that. Like, I've never had to deal with. Like, I've lost family members, but not like you know, not like those close family members. So I don't know. That's my fear. I don't know how how I would even process that. Gary Delina asked, "How can I be so cool?" Lena, you are cool. You and that baby girl. Ode for Joy asked, how did your fiance propose? Hi, Joy. It's a long, long story. So, um, pretty much, my fiance said that we were going to the movies on a double date with my sister and her boyfriend. We were gonna go see Queen and Slim. So, um, he pretty much was like, oh, we're gonna get like a little bit more dressed up than what we normally do for the movie theater. So he picked me out an outfit. It was a off, like a kind of creamy color or off-white-ish color. It was really cute. And, um, pretty much when the day came, it was pouring rain. And I was like, um, I don't think I'm gonna wear that outfit because like, I'm not trying to get, it's raining out, I'm not trying to get splashed or whatever. Like, 
he still convinced me to wear it and everything so um we normally like so we drove up to his sister's house to drop my son off normally when we're dropping my son off she would come downstairs pick him up and then bring him back upstairs this particular day um my fiance was like can you bring him up because well there was no reason he was just like can you bring him up i'm like why can't your sister come down and pick him up like she normally does he was just he was like bring him up so by this time i was irritated and annoyed because i didn't really see the logic you know so anyways i brought him up dropped him off and then um there was a box sitting um in the room with my name on it this is what the box looks like so she's like it's for you open it so then i'm like I'm, I'm, I'm thinking it's not my birthday it's not Christmas like what's going on I'm like who's it from she didn't want to say so I opened the box the first thing I did was I saw my name on the card it says Monique my future wife P.S. say yes so I opened this is the first thing I opened I read what it said and everything I looked around at the other stuff the shirt that I still didn't even take my pictures yet because of corona and um this thing for the vows and stuff and then the last thing that i opened was the box with the ring oh by the way right here it says i have a question for you so anyways the last thing that i picked up was the box with the ring by this time like i'm shaking and everything i opened the box oh there's something in there now but when i opened the box there was nothing in the box it was an empty box I'm gonna tell you the story about this soon so anyways this empty box so I, I'm like freaking out I'm like what's going on like where's Dane whatever I start calling him no answer I mean now I know no answer because he snuck the phone up with my son on the way up so his sister had his phone the whole time that I was calling so she wouldn't be ending the calls now I know but at the time I didn't so anyways this the sister is like oh um because the ring box was empty she was like oh my god like I don't think you were supposed to see this maybe I was maybe I was supposed to give it to you after the movie theater so I'm like I'm gonna go find him like I'm going downstairs so she the sister his sister was like Please, when you go downstairs, don't say anything. Act like I didn't show you the box or whatever. Cool? And I'm like, okay, all right, I'm gonna play along. But the whole time, like, I'm like flabbergasted, you know? Like, I'm, I'm on edge. I'm like, oh my God, like, what is going on? So, we go downstairs, we find him. I'm playing like I never saw the box. We're taking pictures, because that's what we like to do before we go out or whatever. So we're taking pictures. In the middle of the picture, he gets down on his knee and um, he says his little speech and everything and then he pulls out the ring, which was in this, this cute flower thing. And this is my ring. He gave me a promise ring, like, a couple months into the relationship so he took the promise ring off and then he put the engagement ring on and that was the, that was the story I said yes and that's it better <laughs> follow-up question from old for joy any wedding details um well we have a date we have a place we have pretty much we have everything we have a place we have a date we have a dj we have a perspective person that we were that we have that's trying to do the design like like we're good i mean i don't have a dress because of corona and my date i don't know i'm kind of iffy about it because i don't know how what's gonna happen because of corona so pretty much like i would say that we're good but Corona is just messing with the plans right now. And last question for the people. Why should we subscribe to Moni Friday TV out of all the other YouTube channels out there doing the same thing that you're doing? 
Why you? Well, in the words of Tory Lane, you know I'm sexy, intelligent, or whatever. <laughs> really? But, <laughs> well, no, 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 no. Um, I don't know. There's a lot of, like, good people to follow out there, but I would say follow me because I'm real, I'm genuine, um... I have a lot of content to share. I want to inspire. And, um, you know, I'm Jamaican and Caribbean girls run it. Ask Riri.